Hey friends, welcome back. I'm the Zim. This is the Zim video. Today we're going to talk about the Pacific Rim event. We'll break it down. We'll go into all the details. But first off, let's start off with, is it worth it? Yes, I'm going to say it's worth it to invest in this. So here we go. I've played every event similar to this since they've come out. We had the Piedmont event. We had the Transformer event. We had the Evangelion event. We've had other various events that have all sorts of kind of like this event. And in, in my experience of playing these events, this is the best way to invest in the game. If you're gonna put any money into the game, these types of events that are longer, this one's 20 days long. Today I'm recording this on the first day of the event. So you have still have all 20, maybe 19 by the time you watch this days to play this event. We'll get into how to play it to take the most advantage of it, but yes, this is a great way if you've been looking for a base skin, if you want to invest in some heroes and those kind of ideas, an event like this is the best way to do it. Let's get into it and describe how to then do that. So what do we have? We have new heroes that are available to us. I've already played it a little bit. So I've opened up some heroes. We got Gypsy Danger. I'm not personally not upgrading him because I have other focuses that I'm working on. Looks like we're going to get another hero, uh, Coyote Tango soon, and possibly third hero. If we go to Solution Dispenser, um, it's hard to tell the ones that are silhouette. This question mark that's silhouetted on the far right, that looks like the Coyote Tango. This one on the bottom left looks like probably another Kaiju, but the one on the bottom right, it's hard to make out the silhouette. The silhouette looks pretty robotic to me. So it could be a third hero or it could be a third Kaiju. We don't know. So, okay. So heroes, we get some heroes out of the event. We get a base skin out of the event. We're in here, the base skin, we have this, this skin. We get, I'll describe how to get it in a moment, how we do that. We get a base skin out of the event. We get a bunch of decorations out of the event. So we just looked at this and that's how I could see. These are de decorations so far. They've released two decorations. Looks like they'll release five decorations total and maybe more depending on how this event unfolds. So here's the decor, decor store. This will probably change over the course of the event. Remember, it's 20 days long, 21 days to be precise, actually, because we are in the 21st day right now or the beginning of the event. That's the kind of things we're going to get. We get a base skin, we get heroes, and um, we get decorations, you know, the things that we use in the game. All right, so how do we attain them? That's the question now. So the first thing we want to do is when we're in the event center here and they have this first row of things, we have these combat missions. Pay for the, I already did it so I can't show you the thing, but pay for the, the, the two times reward. It'll be $4.99, definitely worth it, especially for this long of an event. If, there's, if you don't spend any money on anything else in this event, spending $4.99, totally worth it especially because it's so long because it'll get you closer to getting some good rewards out of the event so that's great and they, like all these events the more you spend the more you get out of them these longer events you get more for your money than you would in other shorter events or just spending directly on the game in some other various ways like when you're just spending in the regular kind of places to spend here but we'll get back to that in a second the first step to do is to pay for that because this Combat missions is what gets you closer to the base skin because we're trying to get these nuclear batteries. These nuclear batteries are super important. So the nuclear batteries will then feed into this cosmic odyssey. And the cosmic odyssey is this little guy that walks around and we've had events similar to this in the past with this monopoly board where he walks around. So this is like a combination of the monopoly board, the dig event, I forget what it's called, but there's like a dig event where we open the chest, where you go up level, you're looking for that one chest that'll move you to the next level. That's what's happening on this event. So you're walking around the board, you're looking for the portal to go to the next level. They call it planet in this case. And then when you hit the portal, you get an option to spin for more rewards. So that's what we're looking for. So we have two of them right now. So let me, I'm in a bad, I've made a bad move, but there's also these bombs here and you can see that they're telling me that the bomb is over to the left. So let's work our way to this bomb. So I moved there once. Okay, we, we moved once there, I opened something. We got it, I'm gonna save it, I'm not gonna open it. So now we can open the bomb and what the bomb will do, will give us an option, a random option of it exploding and opening up extra pieces. So let's do it and see which option it gives us. We'll do this one and we'll go open and it's gonna give us, so it gave us the option. So now we're gonna use it, we got it, we got it. Now we need to use it. So right up here, we go ahead and use, boom. So now we've used it. It looks like we might be able to, you know, get another bomb if we want. We could collect the bombs. We don't have to use them right away. We can collect them and move around the map and use them wherever we want. 
So that might have been a better option. I probably should have moved around. So we got more things. So that's sort of how that works. When we're playing this event, these cosmic vouchers is what we really are going for. That's the main thing we're looking for in this cosmic odyssey, because then that feeds into the store. And then as you can see, it takes 999 vouchers to get the base skin. Typically, it will cost you through the process of the event at minimum $100, at maximum $170 to achieve the base skin. Since this event's so long, I'll, I'll say an easy 150, 120, somewhere in that range is probably what you're looking to spend to achieve the base skin based on my previous experience playing these events. So is the base skin for this event worth it? Let's look at it real quick. So we can see the base skin here, a hit point, 50%. This attack bonus for second row, 70%, that's pretty high. I don't see, you don't see 70% very often. They're breaking up in rows, that's okay. All unit attack, 30%, that's pretty good. Training speed bonus, ah, doesn't really matter. That's not gonna, that's not a big deal. The holding in stock, 10%, that's not the greatest. The skill is kind of a bummer. It's kind of designed to buy the skin as fast as possible so you can use it in the event, it seems, or maybe they'll be a release, a set, they're planning more releases of this event so that this 50% extra damage on the Kaiju actually matters. But that's kind of weird, or maybe they'll change this exclusive skill after the event, who knows? I'm not sure about that. But I'd give the, the skin, it's not a 10 out of 10, it's probably like a six or seven out of 10 in terms of good base skins. That's where I'm feeling. However, you're not restricted by just the base skin. Um, that they're for the event, you can get this box that you can then select a few other base skins. If there's some other base skin you were, had your eye on more, there's a, other options here to go ahead and, and get a different base skin. So, but it still costs you the same amount of, of vouchers, 999. All right, so next up, we also want to consider getting more batteries every day. And the way you do that is go to value pack and there's a value pack for 99 cents. You get three three more batteries for 99 cents. That's actually a pretty good deal. And I'll be doing that every day, buying the 99 cent pack. I spent 4.99 on what I described earlier. And then there's another thing we'll talk about in a minute where it's $1.99, which I think is worth spending on. Every day after this, I'll be spending that 99 cents here and getting more batteries and working on that. If this event's basically three weeks long, if by the third week, it feels like I'm gonna be short, Every time you buy one of these, you get another option to buy a, a higher amount and you get more. Why don't we just do it right now? So you buy the first level, 99 cents. Let's do it together. <clears throat> All right, so we bought it. So now you can see 199 is the next level and we can get six more batteries and it'll do that again. I think maybe the next one is 499. I'm not gonna buy it right now. We'll just leave it because I only spend for the first couple of weeks, I only spend the one, the 99 cents every day when I'm actually deciding to spend some money on an event. And then I'll double up as we get toward the end, I'll I'll do it. That's that's my way of doing it. Obviously there are other ways you can approach it as well. Maybe you wanna go heavy at the early stages and then taper off because you've achieved what you needed. You can decide how you wanna do it. All right, the next step in the event is the decoration. So that's the, we just talked about the how to get the base skin and how to get the decorations and get uh, make sure you get all the decorations. So. This solution dispenser is a little claw game where it goes back and forth. I only have one coin at the moment, so I'll, I'll demonstrate for us right now. But basically what we're trying to do, fill up these vials on the left side by, you move the claw around, and if you move it to the right, you may be more likely to get green and orange. And if you move it to the left, you may be more likely to get red and, or orange. If you keep it in the center, you'll be more likely possibly to get orange and maybe a, one or the other kinds as well. You can fill up to up to five vials. When you hit craft, it moves the claw over to the left and then spills it out into these other vials. So when you fill the center vial, it gives you a random selection of whatever's available in the, the decoration. But if you fill up all the vials before the center one fills up, then you'll get all five decorated. And then you can just keep playing this game because you know decorations merge so and they get better as they merge. So you just keep playing it until you have one. Also, you can get more of these tokens for this event. So let's play it one time so you can see how it works. We'll we'll just stay in the center. We'll craft sucky. Oh, I got four. I got lucky. Three red and okay. So now it's filled up and I got four of these. So these things, these little thing, that little antenna thing or whatever it is gives, that's like the money for the decor store. 
So as you get the money for the decor store, you can buy certain things out of here. Think as this event moves on, they'll put more decor in here. But since we've just started, they only have a couple. They have Gypsy Danger, this, and then they have decor box where you can get different kind of decors as well. And then you have the marching skin as in here as well. And then some other things. That's what they're going on here. You can also spend like we did with the nuclear batteries. You can go to your value packs and buy more tokens. I personally don't think that's where you want to put your money. I think you want to put it on the nuclear battery packs. Um, you can do if you can afford both and want to go ham on increasing your decor as much as possible, go for it. But I think I feel like the 499 and the 199 that we'll talk about in a second is enough to to keep the momentum of the game going so that you are completing all your missions. Let's see if this gives you any. So we get some tokens out of here as well. So not only do you get the batteries out of here, you also get the tokens out of here for a little while. So you get it. So there's enough other things helping this move along that I don't think you really need to spend money on the tokens, but you can if you want. So that's my thought on it. So let's talk about that 199 spend I was talking about. In the, the, the gameplay of the event is attacking the Kaiju. So when you attack the Kaiju, there's this rewards list. So you get a little bit extra loot and more batteries as you attack the Kaiju. So that's pretty important. So spending, this is 199 right here, spending a little bit more on this is worth it in my opinion for the overall gameplay. So I've done that. So as you can see, you get more. So here's another place where you can get the tokens. So spending daily on the tokens, I don't think it's totally necessary. In my experience as well with these types of events, we're gonna have to attack another Kaiju. So this offer is gonna happen again. We're gonna get a 199 offer again. We're gonna get another list of rewards. So we're gonna get another chance to get more tokens most likely. So again, another reason why spending money on the tokens isn't totally necessary. However, spending money on the nuclear batteries is a worthwhile investment, I believe, for this type of event. I guess the last piece of the event is the heroes. So in this case, we were given Gypsy Danger right away. We got Gypsy Danger right out of the event. If you want a full breakdown of the hero, I highly recommend going checking out Avenged Famine, checking out T Me, other content creators on YouTube. My channel has never been, probably will never be, the best source for hero strengths and what are the best heroes and I think however my experience with playing the game for over two years is typically with events like these the heroes that get released are good heroes and you'll be fine if you decide to keep them if you like the style of the hero if you like the art style of the hero or whatever it is if you're only going on stats 100% uh, um, refer to somebody else but if you're going on oh well this is where I want to spend some money right now I like the IP I like that idea this hero won't let you down. You'll be you'll be happy with it if you decide to invest in it. That's fine. And then we'll have a few more that come out. This is an army hero, so kind of contingent on if you're an army focused player. We don't know yet if the other Jaegers that are gonna be released will be other unit types. Maybe this Jaeger will be uh, Navy, and then the I feel like there's gonna be three Jaegers, but we'll see. And maybe the third Jaeger will be you know Air Force or something. We'll see when that comes out when that time comes but yeah so is it worth upgrading the hero in the event you don't need to like i don't think you need to but if you want to you can obviously spend as much as you want to upgrade the hero as soon as you want you can spend the 20 bucks get it going and then it'll open up i think it's a 49.99 pack that you can get more sh specific shards for the hero and then you can also play the lucky treasure if you have a ton of gems and you want to just keep rolling this lucky treasure you could win some gems it's curious that they even have this uh, because they give you the hero right away they're doing this event a little bit different than they've done in the past uh, but you know normally when a new hero comes out this is the sort of free to play way to get it is to play the lucky treasure because it only takes gems which you should be able to get fairly easily if you're in a good alliance so but you can use this to get more shards if you want let's try it let's just do it once here just because we can so I got another Gypsy Danger shard and you can keep going every three times you do the 331, you're guaranteed to get one shard. Sometimes you get more than one within one roll. So you can do that if you want. So that's how you can upgrade your hero. I'm gonna say it's not required to upgrade your hero through the event because now that you have the hero, you can put universal orange shards on it. The one thing that's typically harder to come by and they don't seem to have a place for it 
I don't see a place for it yet, and maybe that'll be released, is the exclusive skill on a hero. So right now we have this other exclusive skill pack. So to upgrade the exclusive skill on this hero, they're not offering it to us anywhere in the event in terms of a free, like just playing the event, which is I think kind of unfortunate. So you'll have to spend some money possibly to open it up here or when you collect your universal exclusive skill shards, you can go to the universal exclusive skill shop where it is exchanged here. And I don't know, let's see, yeah, Gypsy Danger's in here. So you can buy it through here if you have enough shards for it. To sum it up in a way, yes, this event is worth spending some money on if you want to. If you're looking for your first base skin or you're looking for somewhere to kind of invest in the game a little bit so you, you don't have all the default stuff and just free to play heroes and those kind of things, I think this kind of event is worth investing in some money. And they did, a, it looks on the surface right now, first day, it looks like they did a pretty good job of the playability of the event. Like these little mini games they've come up with look pretty fun. And they, they're, they're kind of interesting to play along with. I'm having a good time. I like it. I don't think it's definitely not the worst they've done. Um, it's definitely at this point, I'm not going to give it the best they've done and as we move on i do live stream multiple times a week and since this this event's going to be going on for 20 more days we'll um check back in to see what else is un unlocked and released so you can come back check out the live stream and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you see it when it pops up i'd look forward to talking with you in the live streams and if you have any questions for me throw them in the comments we'd love to hear about them and as always be loving kind of patient peace my friends <music>